Hey guys, so this year I'm room mom for Ryder and I'm already having flashbacks from all the times I tried too hard as room mom for Avery and Brooks. So this year for the Halloween class party, I'm steering away from homemade. Today we're talking about eight healthy class treats for Halloween. All right guys, we are starting easy with a cheese stick ghost. All you will need is a cheese stick and either a paint pen or a Sharpie. I find the paint pen work best. All right, you're gonna flip it around to the non-writing side, draw one eye. Another eye, and then a long mouth. Ooh, spooky. Number two, spider eggs. All you're gonna need is some green grapes in a snack-sized plastic bag. And then I found this awesome template online that I will link below. It just says spider eggs with some webs on there, which is pretty cool. And I'm gonna staple it to the edge. How cute is that? Next up we have these pretzel bag witch brooms. You will need a bag that's not zip, but just folds over, that really helps. I'm gonna put some stick pretzels in the bag, not overloading it. Once you have your pretzels in there, you need a stick. Today I'm using some Halloween pencils. You can also use lollipop sticks. Get those guys standing back up straight and then close it off. And then at this point you can either secure it with a tiny rubber band or just tie a ribbon around it. I'm gonna be brave today and just do the ribbon. And then just as a final touch, I'll trim the plastic around the edge. All right, and that's it for our broomstick. Next up, we have another bag treat, this adorable goldfish-filled pumpkin. You're gonna need the same type of bag that doesn't have a zipper, um, a paint pen, some pipe cleaner, obviously some goldfish. I'm gonna draw a face on first. Pro tip here is to draw a mouth that is not too big or you will be filling this in for a good five minutes. Once you have your face in your bag, you're gonna fill it with a pretty hearty serving of goldfish. You want this to turn out really round. And then you're just gonna twist it until you make a circle. And then our final step is just to add the stem of the pumpkin. So I've got a green pipe cleaner that I'll twist around. And the nice thing about this is it secures it so that the goldfish stay inside and then it looks extra cool. And then you can snip the top. So cute. Another super easy one are these clementine jack-o'-lanterns. So for this one, you guys can also see my horrible drawing skills, but I love using clementines or even mandarins. And they just look so cute in a pile. Another awesome fruit treat are these ghost apples. You will need a tiny baby apple, good old paper towel. You just wrap it around at the edge, you twist it around, fluff them out a little bit. And then you're gonna take some Halloween ribbon and tie it up. And then the final step is really just to draw some ghost eyes. A mouth that's screaming for help. So pouches are super popular, especially with the preschool set. So today we are going to mummify our pouches. I've got a little bit of surgical tape. You can get this pretty much at any drugstore. And I'm just gonna start at the bottom and kind of wrap it up. And I'm just kind of going at it from all angles. I'll probably go over some things twice, leave a little bit of a slit in other places. And then finally, I'm just gonna stick a couple of googly eyes on there. <laughs> How cute is that? Now one of my favorite treats are these raisin bats and they're super easy to make. You're going to need a snack size bag and you fill it with raisins. You're gonna separate right in the middle and then fold it over. Then you're gonna take a clothespin. Hopefully your craft store has some black ones. I had to paint mine black. You're gonna go up with it. Center of your bat, looking good. Next up we need some ears and some eyes. So for the ears, I've got these pipe cleaners I've just cut into little pieces and I'm gonna put them into my clothespin. And then my googly eyes are next. The worst part of the googly eyes is peeling them. Now you can stop here, but Ryder tells me this looks like a butterfly. So we're gonna use our paint pens to add fangs. All right, that's one good looking bat. All right guys, next time you need to bring something in for your kids' Halloween class party, you will know what to make. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.